So in this video, I'm going to explain you about I-O redirection. Now this I-O means input and output redirection. You can redirect your input anywhere. You can out redirect your output anywhere into any particular file or into different terminal. So the same thing we are going to see here. Now, if I'm talking about an input output redirection, as I discussed, this contains a command or a particular commands or any text of the file we have, we can move it from your one terminal to the other terminal or we can use the output of one data or the one page from the other page as well. So we have two different redirections into it called as the output redirection and your input redirection. Output redirection, what it will do? You have already given a command. Once you get the output of this command, you can get this output into a different file or you can redirect into a different terminal or into different commands. So here we can see the output from a command normally intent for the standard output can be easily diverted to a file instead of getting it on the prompt itself. Same way for redirecting the file, the output file or output command into the other particular file or the other command, we just need to use this greater than sign. So for example, I have given one particular command and I want the output of this command to be saved in the file. I'll just use the greater than sign after the command and post that a file name where I need to store it. Same way, we also have input redirection. For example, I have a blank file created and I want some output of a particular command into this blank file. So we can also take the input of a command into it. So again, the input of a command can be redirected from a file. So there you need to use less than sign to redirect the input. So this is a greater than sign we can use for output redirection and less than sign we can use for input redirection. So let us see how we can use this input and output redirection into our console. So uh, here we are going to talk about input and output redirection. So at discuss, if suppose I have some command or I hit some command, it will give me output on the same console or same terminal. Now what if, if I want to provide the output some other terminal, what I'll be doing is, I'll be giving the same command who and I'll use the output redirection. So this output of this particular file will be moved into the users. So this is how generally we give the output redirection. Now the output has not shown on the terminal but instead it is moved on the user's file. You can see this is updated. Now one more thing we would like to see here that is if suppose I'm moving in the other terminal and I get logged in with some different user like I have logged in with James. So ultimately what will happen Ultimately, what is going to happen is like the who command will change, right? The who will have one more entry that James is added on TTY0. Now, what if I want to append this entry? Now, what will happen if I use the same command and users who and users, it will replace the complete content. So the trainer entry, what we have created the log, it won't be, it will be moved. So if I want to redirect this output, to the users but I want to append the entry so just you need to give double greater than sign that means you just need to define the redirection signed over here which will be appending the existing file just hit enter and check for catch users you can see you have both the you have both the entries first four entry from the first file and then the second four entries you have right so this is what exactly how we can use the output redirection. Now what if, if I want to use the input redirection? So input redirection can be used for uh, any particular commands. Like if suppose I want to check for all the particular user entries which I have added. I want to check into the uh, particular file and I want that, that I should get the word count of those things. So what I can do, I can use the input redirection sign and I can go for users so now what it has done it has taken the output of this particular user and it has counted it and it has provided it over here itself so you can see the command is showing the wc's or you can say word count of this particular user into it right so it will show you the output over here 
So this is called as the input redirection. So your command is taking input from the particular file. Now for example, I have created a file that is touch file I have created and with the name new and again I give new input redirection sign and users. So it's showing me command not found. Means anyway I can only use in the left hand side the command not the particular file name but white words are vice versa into the output redirection file in output redirection file we can pick come on and here we need to specify the file name for example i want to check the users wc and i want to put the output into the file called as new file which i have created you can check the cat command for the new file so this is the output. So this is how we generally we define the input redirection and your output redirection commands and append the entries for it. Now for example, if I added more entries into the users, I'll just move into the need to move here itself directly. Users and I moved into the users. I'm going to add some entries, more entries over here. So I'm just here. That's uh, that's all entries we have. So I've added the number of words into this, right? So I'm just going to save the same and move out of it. Now again, uh, what the file was containing, the new file was containing, was this one, right? Now again, I want to redirect the output of your this file. So what I'll do, I'll give the command wc and then the file name users I'll again redirect it check it check the content of this particular file it's appending the values so this is how generally we put the you know redirection signs we can also use the double redirection sign so that we can append the existing file over here so in the next section, we are going to check about the administration parts, how we can administer the complete users and accounts as well as your desk. So that's what we actually we are going to see. So keep watching.